Hey guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can issue sales invoice on Xero. To issue sales invoice, we can click on quick links and click on invoice here, or we can go through business section and go through invoices section as well. Here, we need to click on new invoice and we will be presented with a blank invoice template. Start, start adding information by typing details of the customer. If it's completely new customer, just type details like I can put John, I have Jane, but if it's new, click on add John as a new customer and it will show up that this will be new customer and it will be added to contact list. Select an invoice date, select due date. Invoice number is automatically created by system, but you can still amend as well as you can provide a reference number if you have one to provide. We can preview and we can attach any support documents, either from file library, which is already uploaded through file section on Xero account, or we can attach from our desktop or from our download folders from computer. We can change a currency by clicking add new currency or keep defaulted system currency and we can add a new item or we can select from our item list. So in my case, I will select from item list to products. I can change quantity. So it already shows that I have 30 on hands. Price, we can amend if we wish or we can keep the same as it's set up. And there is already cost of sales uh, code provided from our chart of accounts, but we can still amend if you wish to allocate to one of the particular revenue codes. VAT, there is no VAT, but we can change tax by selecting one of the above ones and amount is 10 and the same for other. I have 10 snack bars to do for one pound to sell and this is how we can fill in details in main body. We can add new lines by clicking add, or we can add a batch of five, 10 or 20 rows if we need to. We can save as draft, save and continue editing, save and submit for approval, save and add another one. So if we save and submit for approval, this invoice has been moved from draft to awaiting approval section. To approve, click on invoice and click approve here. So now when we go to invoices, this invoice has been moved from approvals to awaiting payments. This is a way how you can issue sales invoice on Xero accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.